Greetings everyone, this is Elizabeth and today I thought I'd do a whole video some of the items we've already used and seen but I just wanted to show that's not put away either so I've got to get all these little goodies put away I've had them, <laughs> you guys, you guys um, I bought them on clearance when Hobby Lobby was getting rid of all their dyes and stuff and uh, yeah, it uh <laughs> It's been sitting here for a few weeks but uh i did get one of these cuties i'm super excited because i was gifted one and it's amazing so i did get the snowflake one so we'll be seeing this this december getting stamped out a few times um they did have the um the cutting plates for the the mini sidekick so I just tried it they do fit in there that's why they're in here upside down but for three bucks you know it's a dollar off four bucks or five bucks isn't even bad two dollars off sorry I can't add don't mind me I got these little cuties I love postage stamps and these little scalloped -y edges you know you find a piece of pattern paper or something that has a really great image this would be good for cutting out those yes even the brand new stuff by Tim Holtz was marked down and I did want these and I was super excited you know I got them for $11.99 so <laughs> we're gonna be seeing these guys too Got some deer, because deer go great for with winter. I got the three-piece die set. Again, you know, I wanted it, but I, was, <laughs> I didn't have that much money. But I had that much. <laughs> so, yeah, the three plates to make this, which I have ideas for this. And then I've been wanting these. Finally got them. I'm glad they had them. I think I bought the last one that was at my store. And then I hemmed and hawed over this one. And the hubby was like, just throw it in the cart. You've already bought, <laughs> bought everything else. I was like, okay, I can buy this too. So this one, I love birds. And I think this is just going to be elegant. You know, cutting out those bird cages in a metallic. And then the different birds. Ugh. I think it's just going to make some fun cards. Even like thank you cards. Thinking of you. Um, friendship cards. Uh, scrapbooking. You know, like even a Halloween. You could get really spooky because they're individual. You don't have to use all the bird cages. You could just use one bird cage. Make your own little string to hold it. I mean, you don't have to use everything, which I, th I think is pretty cool. I like this one. They had this stuff, foil adhesive sheets, marked down. So I thought I'd give it a try. Oh, I didn't even notice that. They are individually wrapped per color. So that's kind of cool. Silver, rose gold, a blue, a bluish sh silver, and then a gold. So, yeah, I'm kind of adhesive. So, like these little bird cages, you know, I cut some blue ones out. And they're, they'll already be sticky, which is fabulous. Because those are pretty open. And this was the Hobby Lobby goodies. And then um, a few weeks ago, let me see if it says when. 11-12. So... On the 12th, I ordered these because they had a, a good coupon for 30% off that I used. And I got, we'll start backwards. Um, this was the October release bundle, okay? And basically, I got these for free because when I purchased these and used my coupon, I'll show you, I'm not ashamed. But see, there's the price for the release bundle, $65.97. And then my coupon, Stay Cozy, $65.68. dollars 
So I basically got these guys for free. So that really makes me happy. I mean, these are a little over $20 a set. And ugh. and if you have a, a die cutting machines, you can, when you're in there selecting, and this is at Ranger though, when you're in there selecting the stamp, it should have pick one area where it says pick one and it automatically fills it in with the stamp first. But if you click the drop down, it should have the die cuts. Now I'm not 100% sure if they did it with these because these are the um, collab with Spellbinders and Spellbinders has the dies for these and Ranger does too. But I have Scan and Cut so I'm going to be using my Scan and Cut to cut these out. But you can get matching dies if you want. If you prefer the matching die, don't want to use your machine, absolutely fine. Or, you know, save on all of it and just fussy cut. You know, we, we know that they're pretty easy fussy cutting images. But this one is Winter Woodland. Just the cutest little stuff. Um, we come bearing the gifts. Have a holly jolly Christmas I love you very much. You inspire me. That's a good one. Seasons tweetings for the little bird. Sending Christmas cheer. Let it snow. Walk in a winter wonderland. Warm winter wishes. You get a couple little packages, which is great because they can go with everything. You know, cut them out. Like one of his older sets, Oh Dear. It's funny I have that out, but look, you can put those packages with the sleigh from Oh Dear and really have a full sleigh, which I might do that for another card. I have an idea for those sl the sleigh. That's why I have it stamped out. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and then we have the folk art ornaments, which I love this little nutcracker and I really, I really needed this set. Not really, but I did. <laughs> um, I do enjoy a good nutcracker because that's what my husband collects. And so I can make him Christmas cards and birthday cards and stuff with nutcrackers. Ooh, that would be fun to make this a Halloween nutcracker because my hubby's birthday is on Halloween. So that would be fun to use some orange and green and black to color him up for a more spooky effect. But it comes with a couple of swag or little branches. Not really swag. Swags are bigger. but And then these beautiful little ornaments. And a really nice scripty font. Silent Night. Joy. Warm Wishes. Jingle All the Way. A Gift for You. Love You. Noel. Holly Jolly Hugs. Ho, ho, ho. And Peace. But uh, in these his other ornaments these are gonna look really great with those too I think hold on one second I forgot to write down the name of the set but yes so if you have his older Christmas ornament set um, they're gonna look really nice so if you want a couple of different round ones if you want a couple of different the pointy ones you're gonna have that you could pop these in the front where these are in the back because these are definitely bigger and you'll get that dimension. Um, like these are more in the, the background and these are in the foreground. Mm. And then, you know, you can stamp the this foliage and these together. I would do this one in a mid-tone in the background and then stamp these over the top of that. I think it's going to look really great. Ugh, so exciting. All these new stamps that I get to play around with for Christmas. And then this one is folk art ornaments. You can purchase them individually. You can, I want to say that Spellbinders and ranger have them in sets where you can get this and the die so you just gotta poke around in there um i have links to ranger and spell binders down in the description this one is half tone holidays um those are affiliate links that i have 
And so if you purchase this, it sends a message to um, Ranger that, uh, or Spellbinders, because they do carry this as well, Rangers or Spellbinders, that, uh, you know, Elizabeth is sending customers your way, <laughs> their way, and uh, they, they give me a little percentage. And it doesn't affect you, it doesn't affect, um, you don't pay any extra. But look at these. I'm I'm just mesmerized. I mean, look at this little acorn. You can't see the acorn, but I can. Look at that. Oh, it's gorgeous. I can't wait to just stamp them out. And again, okay, pop them in. Even though these are half tone and these are this way, it doesn't matter. You can mix and match. There's no rules as long as you like it. Okay, there's another little branchy branch. Maybe push these to the back, put these to the front because you're going to have more detail with these. Oh, so gorgeous, so gorgeous. So, half tone holidays, folk art ornaments, and winter wonderland. These are the October release bundle, and you can buy them together just like this. Um, you can buy them with the individuals, individuals with the die cuts. So, poke around and those are available at ranger and simon says stamps and i think crescent creation has um some of them i'm not 100 percent sure i know i'm her affiliate or her yeah i'm a her affiliate and um but uh she was having a hard time getting them in so i'm not sure if she's got them in yet Okay, and then these are the <laughs> Spellbinders collab, and I did get these at Ranger, okay? So, they're they're shipping to the Ranger shop, all of the, the, the fun stuff. And so, you can shop at your favorite stores to get this. If you're a Ranger, you know, you can get them there. If you're Spellbinders, you can get them there. I personally shop wherever it's cheapest. Um, the I don't know if Spellbinders is switching all of it, but the Simon Hurley collection, they're stuck to these plasticky things. And it takes a little bit of work, but you can get the tape off of these. And I think we can make stencils with these because it's a nice material. So... I'm, I'm saving mine. I'm going to see if I can't send them through one of my cutting machines to actually make stencils. Um, I've already played with a few of these. Made some really fun cards. Let me pull out. Okay, so I hot foiled this guy. Now, if you were hanging out with me when I was hot foiling this, I had a lot of issues with the center of the plate not getting the heat it needed or the pressure it's my system it's not the die because we I don't know why I didn't even think about it I had an issue with other full plate um hot foil plates so it's my system it's not the dies so if you're having troubles and you try everything Try a different plate. If you have the same troubles, it's not the plates. It's either the, there's a divot in my hot plate or there's a funky thing going on in my die cutting machine. But this here, isn't this gorgeous, you guys? Look it. This is the um, Geo Snowflakes. And then this one is backwards <laughs> uh candy stripe so geo snowflake and candy stripe and what i did is i hot foiled it then i cut it and i used half the pieces for this one and half the pieces for this one so all i had to do is hot foil it once and cut one piece of red and we flip flopped the pieces and this is what we got now this one is straight glued in there. It's all one level. So it's like inlaid in there. Absolutely fun. And then this one, after my live, I sat there and I glued in the flat ones, the little skinny ones, and then I popped up the fatter ones. 
so there's some dimensions and it's a lot of fun i'm not gonna lie this one's a lot of fun and then we use those little guys which are these these are the joyful christmas sentiments and it's one solid plate one solid cutter and so you can just run it a few times have a few little sentiments and um these foil beautifully because i could use the edge of my machine and yeah these foiled and cut beautifully as you can see i mean look at that deck the halls doo -doo 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 -doo. and if you have the pink fresh christmas sentiments these these meld right in there there there's enough difference between them enough um you know you can have them both and not have duplicates let's put it that way you can have them both and not have duplicates so i use these three to make those two cards oops and we've seen this on mr simon hurley's channel quite a bit because uh why not right this guy is handsome little stag uh and he's got the little the little foliage and so here's the branch with the berries and here's the poinsettia with the berry bits okay so everything you need to make the piece is all together okay so that's super cool a couple little branches the nose and eyes the muzzle and the ear pieces the antlers some leaves so you take out the stag and you've got all of this foliage. I mean, you can stamp or cut these a bunch of times and you're going to have <coughs> a tickle in your throat. That's what you're going to have. No, you're going to have beautiful foliage. Just look at that. And you don't have to use the little berries. If you're like, um, I don't do teeny weenies, don't have to use the berries. This branch would be beautiful. So would this one without the berries same thing here you know they give you the little teeny dots for the centers but you don't have to use those you can use gems how beautiful would that be with a beautiful red gem in the middle um texture paste i love to put the lunar texture paste right in the center you dab it on and then make it like pokey and sticky up you just t tap it a few times and it'll make fun little centers I got the ornament string. I'm super excited for this one. Just look at that. You can put this down on your card. Okay, put it down as many times as you want. Put stuff over the top of it. Ink blend around it. And you're going to have a fun card. Oh, so fun. And this guy. Look at that. You know, this... Maybe you do a whole thing of ornaments, right? And then you pop in these two right on top, maybe on some, um, a piece on their own. And these are in the background or something. Maybe you stamp these really lightly so they kind of fade in there around those. Mm, mm -mm. Look at that. And they come with their own little die cuts. Isn't that fabulous? Ugh. And again, there's that interesting plasticky stuff. But yeah, I'm saving mine. I'm going to save mine and see if we can't make some, some uh, stencilies. <laughs> well, that is my haul. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope to catch you on a live. I do go lives Monday and Wednesday, 7 p.m. Eastern here on my channel. And on the Crescent Creation channel is 3 p.m. Eastern on Thursdays. Um, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. And we will see you next time, my friends. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.